yeah. I do shows. I do. I do. I do. I just... Uh, I've been trying to get into White Deer Run because I heard that that's way better than Bowling Green. But when I call White Deer Run, they're always like, oh, and they switch me over to uh, Bowling Green. And I don't know exactly how they're connected, but like all my paperwork and things calls for Bowling Green. White Deer Run can see that in the computer and vice versa. It's like they're connected somehow. I don't know. 10 care covered at all. His 10 care hospital will send you somewhere. I know, like just an ER. Like walk in the ER and be like, I'm a crack. Like I'm not being funny, but I'm like, I'm a crackhead. Do I, I shouldn't have said that, but you guys know what I mean. Like, you know, I wouldn't say exactly that, but because I, like I said, believe me or not, the only thing that physically I'm addicted to is methadone. That's it. So, and that's going to take a whole different process to come off of. You know what I mean? The point of this is the rack. I need to stop the rack. Be honest, Lisa. Losing control is huge right now. Yeah, and shells, uh, people have said that to me. And I don't know whether it's true or not. They say, like, getting on here, Discord, any of it, is a control thing because it's the only thing I can control right now. Turning off the comments, um, you know... Uh, getting on and off when I want to, whatever they think I'm controlling. Um, and they may be right, I don't know. But yeah, every, I control nothing in my life, nothing. Absolutely nothing, not when I eat. Um, sometimes not even when I sleep. You know, if my brother's up playing his game at 3 a.m. and he's yelling and walking through the rooms, I'm up because I can't sleep through that. It's just like, but and it is my own fault. That's the point. I get it. But it still doesn't, like, defer of what is, what is happening. You know what I mean? So. Okay, Miss Emma, I can do that. I tried to message you, but you said... You're the one that said the WhatsApp thing, right? And I, I couldn't figure out WhatsApp. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. I tried, so. Um... But yeah, I just, I, I need help for depression. I need help for my anxiety. I need help um, because, you know, kind of what you guys see when I go live and I'm like really upset and, you know, that's, um, you know, it, it is, you know, drug seeking, but it's also a lot of anxiety, a lot of anxiety. So, yeah, I'm just trying to think of what, one would be the best one to um uh Yorkie mama no I'm not planning on it I I'm not gonna make any promises but right now no I'm not planning on coming on and asking um for anything I don't I don't have a uh payment app right now my CA is shut down or failing not shut down failing so you have many years ahead. It, it is this is no way to live Tihi, at all at all it's not fun. I really meant that when I said that, that none of it's fun. Not even the end where you actually get to enjoy or supposed to enjoy the rug. None of it's fun anymore. None of it. But for some reason, I just keep like a routine or maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm stuck in a fucking routine. I don't know. Well, Mickey Mouse. Bowling Green is dual diagnosis, right? But when I was there, I literally seen a psychiatrist for about 10 minutes and never seen them since. Like, they didn't come back. And it's kind of like um, what I feel like it is there is they're kind of just, you know, doing the bare minimum to get the state funding for you being there, you know? Um the uh, the counseling non-existent. You know, he meets with you for five minutes. I could tell he wasn't listening to anything I was saying. Um, it just, I don't know. It just wasn't, I don't know. Do you realize? I mean, lucky girl, yeah, I do. You know, I, I do. Um, I don't exactly know what will happen with that, if anything. Um... But the night I got um, 
Well, yeah, that's the thing, Mickey Mouse. Exactly, they are. They're so overran, and there's, you know, so many people that are on Medicaid trying to get in those places, and, uh, yeah, they're overran. They want you in and out and get the funding, you know? I could be. I could be chasers. Like I said, I really, there's a million and one things that are going through my head at all times, you know? Um... But uh, I have to do something, and I need, I, I, I'm telling you guys, I need mental health stuff. I'm, I really do. Even if I go into rehab, which I'm going to end up doing that, I'm just saying, the mental health thing is going to be a big fucking part of this and me doing well so what what about my glasses soul yeah well yeah shells I, i've done it once i mean i know i was only on the h for you know two three months or whatever and, and my sister did confirm that i know nobody believes me about not having a long h habit but ronnie did get on and say like, I don't know for sure, but I know it was no more than six months. It was, like, two. But, um, I was like, what was I saying? Oh, I know it can be done. Like, in long, I can do it long term. I had eight years with the help of the methadone and the clinic and all that, you know. But, honestly, I feel like without my son, I like, I don't know. It's just, like, it's a point. Like, I don't know, like, there's a point because I don't want to, you know, D-I, you know, but it's, I don't know if I'm able to do it long term, that's all. It's not about a pity party. I don't want a pity party. I know, trust me, I know, hairless, I get it. Yeah, nobody can do the work for me, you know? And, and yeah, it's not a pity party. It, like, I always say that I don't want sympathy. I don't deserve sympathy. My son deserves sympathy. That's it. Bottom line. I hope so. That wasn't the point of this lie. Let's go off of the topic. I know. Widow, that's the the whole sad part of this whole thing. But I just, yeah, I mean, I'm a lot more self-aware than I let people know. Trust me. I know exactly what the fuck is going on. Um, yeah, I do. Trust me. And I know what I need to do and what, um, and like I said, I, and that's what's even, that's even more disgusting, to be honest, but... I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what. I need to just go to the fucking rehab. <laughs> but like I, oh, I don't know. You know what I mean? Lisa, I'm raising my niece because of my sister's actions. I I know, crazy mom. Trust me, I do. Um, with big Cole being an addiction, I've seen the way that um. You know, I didn't use around the kids. He didn't really use around them, but they knew sort of because of him overdosing a lot, you know, because um, he'd be clean for a long time and then use and he he overdosed 15 times that I personally have, you know, called the paramedics or in things. But um, I seen the effect on them. I seen the effect on them when he passed. And the fact that like now I'm sort of doing the same fucking thing. I'm actually doing it worse. Because at least... Yeah, I'm doing it worse, unfortunately. And I didn't mean to. I'm not meaning to. I do, Wolfie. Yeah, I'm afraid. I'm worried. I am... Um, making you know making myself believe excuses like look what i'm telling you guys oh it won't help me their counseling is shit um 
I don't really need to go. I don't have to detox off nothing. But I believe that shit, like, with 100% of me. But you guys are listening in your in excuses, right? You're not allowed many people will be with you. I, yeah, that was the only good part about that was um, there's a lot of people, men and women up there that, uh, yeah, we're going through maybe not the same rug, but the same thing, you know what I mean? Terminal uncuteness. No, I never heard of that. Uh, Amy, 100%. 100%. I said that. I don't know if you were in here, but um, when I am sober, um, the, the, the feelings, I just, I, that, when I'm trying to stay clean and I have a day or two under my belt, the feelings that come up about my children pushes me to where I'm just like, no, 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 I got to go get something. I can't do this. I can't do this. And that may be an excuse also, right? Because, you know, addicts, we talk ourselves into rationalizing using, right? But it's bad. Like, it's really fucking bad. I mean, look at everything you guys have watched me do. Um, It's bad, y'all, you know. You're right. And, and, you know, my parents, I don't, like, do crazy shit here or, um, but, like, their heart, their hearts are probably broken, you know? Like, because I just, I just let them down again, too, you know? So. Yeah. And, and, and you're right, Shells, but it's going to come. And, if I go a year from now, right, or even like you guys said, jail, rehab, whatever, I'm going to have to feel it eventually. And the more this goes on, more can happen, right? Um, and then it's going to be even more shit to deal with. And I know that, too. Like, th- that's why this is so wild is because I get it. But I just won't do it but I know I need to do it and want to do it it's so bizarre like I don't know like it, it's so bizarre like I, I really don't know what's happening anymore It's addiction. You know what, Shells, uh, love? It could be because the only addiction I've ever went through was the H for a couple months. So I never went, like, down this this road of actual long-term addiction, you know? So have you seen Patrick Ridge on here helping Nick? I do. I have seen Patrick Ridge. Um, I have seen his videos. I, I don't know. I don't think I could deal with him. I, I, he's entertaining. I do like watching his videos. I don't know if I could put myself in that situation. What do you guys think? And all the excuses we are still here trying to have. I know, and I appreciate that. There's, there's, in all the hate that I get, that's fair, right? Um, some of it's fair, some of it's over the top, but there are so many kind people that, you know, I just said that in the Discord. Taste over on beer. I I know, I know, widow, and that's what else is sad too. Uh, crazy mom, I do not either. I know exactly who you're talking about, and I a thousand percent do not believe it that either. Um, what was I gonna say? Shit, 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 shit. That took me off guard. Um, oh, the kind people. I just said that in Discord. Yeah, uh, yeah, Amy. I I just, but um, Pat, the uh, shit. Sorry, it was like. I'm sorry. I got. I'm getting confused. I'm trying to answer everybody. Oh, Discord. When I was over there, right? I never gave it a chance because I always just said that's a hate page for me, right? That Kim runs Reddit hate, and it is a lot of hate. Um, but and, and just talking shit. That's just Discord, right? And I gave it a chance when Kim asked me to go on the first time, and. Uh, As you guys see, I pop in the chat and the people that I have seen kind of bash me the most or call me out on my BS, when I actually sit there and talk to them and joke with them, they're not bad people. You know what I mean? Like they're not, they say the same thing. Like we're just out to see you get better. We want to see you get better. 
I've had, I can't stand your ass, but I do want to see you get better. And, um, yeah. And that's another thing about the not coming out and saying 12 hours before, like, guys, I just, I'm not going to go. I don't think, um, I'm letting you guys all down. I, I, you know, I, I really am, you know, I, I, and I am, it's, it's, and I know people say I shouldn't care about that, but I do care about that. Me too, Justice Soul. I mean, it's funny. We just, you know, some of the most funniest stuff gets said over there, you know? I know, Tony. I know. A lot a lot of you guys are recovering addicts um, and understand where I'm coming from. Um, I, I know. I know. And Hairless, I'm, I, I see it now. Um, I know, Mickey Mouse. I see it now about why that was going on with the apps and stuff, the payment apps. I'm sure I'm gonna see it a lot clearer when I'm completely sober, right? Um, but withdrawals are the fucking worst thing in the world, man. Like, there's nothing. And nobody, unless you've experienced it, you know, you could never explain it and put it into words how bad it is, you know? I'm almost 40 with zero responsibilities. Well. Yeah, you're right, but that's not fun, and it doesn't make you feel good at all. Like I, like Nick, I have, like I have no money. If I don't get on here and ask for help, I literally have no cigarettes. There's been days where I haven't eaten because my parents would either make ground meat stuff or just we're at bingo or whatever. Um, I have nothing, and. I understand get a job, it's that easy, but I don't go do it probably, you know, because I'm lazy, number one, but number two, I keep thinking get a job, look at the way I look now, look at the way I act, and also I got, I have to go get some help, so why get a job now if I'm, you know, that's what goes through my head, you know what I mean? Yes, I've had a couple of jobs, uh, zero fucks, yes. But yeah, I mean, it's like, it's not fun. People think, oh, I'd love to just, you know, have no responsibility and my kids getting taken care of. Like, I will give anything to be one of you guys getting up, going to work, not have to go to the clinic and need to fucking drink my methadone to feel normal for the day, um, you know, and come home to my kids. Like, I would literally pay millions of dollars to switch that up. recently that hasn't happened um it it has happened at my old place it was happening but recently it's been um i mean you've seen with that chick i mean i what the most i got was uh 70 the one day um and i know that that's a lot so please don't get me wrong that's a lot but nothing compared to what was going on man you know and it's but it's 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 intervention it's somebody intervening I believe with everything going wrong you know what I mean I mean I don't think so from the people I've talked to I mean I'm, I'm not coming at you hairless I don't think so like um you know yeah they said that uh yeah never mind well yeah Kaz I've lied I've said I need food and bought cigarettes. I've said I needed cigarettes and bought food. I've said I needed, you know, this and bought drugs. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? I have to have something if you can do it too. I know, Miss Emma. But yeah, with what she was saying, um, you know, I've heard different stuff. I've heard, I mean, they come on and say stuff. I don't ever believe it unless I see it myself. But, um, the night I got 302'd when I was on the way, I said to the cop, I said, um, like, what the fuck am I really doing wrong? Like, I'm asking people for money. They're fucking giving it to me. I'm not, because I'm not, like, doing the shit that people say about, you know, robbing bank accounts, like some kind of movie and shit. Like, no, I I'm not. But, um, and the, I think the worst thing is the lying in the, um, like, in what I could get in trouble for, the lying in the using somebody else's cash app, but with their permission. 
Like, I, I don't take anybody's CA. You know what I mean? They say you can use it or they make me one. You know what I mean? But I've never, like, went in somebody's account or... It's just crazy some of the stuff that gets said. But um, but those are the two things that I... But anyways, back to the cop. He said that... um. Yeah, that those are the, the theft by deception thing, the lying, the lying would be a thing. But he was like, oh, you won't. He was like, he was like, he was like, that's like a ticket. And I was thinking in my head, maybe once, but if it comes down on me, it wouldn't be just a ticket. It would be, it would be more than that because of, you know, the amount, the proof, you know what I mean? So, no, no, uh, Nikki Sticky, I swear to God, I don't even know what to swear on. That lady that made that video saying I sent her Taco Bell and she threatened me. No, I did never did that. First of all, I don't even know about the Taco Bell, number one. Number two, she sent $40 to Kim's PayPal, right? And then she went on discord or reddit and said that we hacked her or something i don't fucking know but she sent that willingly kim refunded it to her i think she's delayed that kim docs if i'm not mistaken which i said to kim don't ever fucking do that again i don't care if she would ever don't do that again but um no i never called and threatened her absolutely not absolutely not have i went off on people oh hi miss mandy hi baby um, have I went off on people? Absolutely. But the things that you see, it isn't just, um, you, that's what I'm saying, Miss Lynn. Um, there are messages that come out that, um, a lot, some of it is deleted. Like they take some of the text out, right? Um, and yeah, I went off on people, but it isn't just, can you send me money? No, you're a fucking cunt, blah, 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 threatening people. No, 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 I've never done that. Um, you know, I've tried to make them feel bad, right? I have, of course, but no, you know what I mean? I, that, that was not true with that lady. I don't know what the fuck that was about. I, guys, you got to understand too, people... And this is not that I'm important. I know I'm not important. I know I'm a piece of shit. Trust me, I know. But when people come on and say that stuff and try to whatever, you know, you guys want to know what's going on. So you go over, you know, you see she's getting views. She's on live. They do that for a reason. And I'm not saying all of them. I'm saying most of them. They they do, Mandy. And like I said, I'm not saying all of them. But guys, I've seen I've seen text threads that I'm like, who is this? And I'm like looking through my phone. And then I was like, I don't remember this. I don't know who the fuck this is. And then they did it again. Right. And it was the same day. Like I caught it right away. I seen it on TikTok and I went and I looked and I was like, that whole fucking thing is fake. Like I was so mad because I. I didn't know that you could, like, make up a whole thread of fake texts. Like, I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. But um, I, I have seen that. I've seen that one time. So. Yeah, some. That's what I'm saying. Not every. I'm not saying everything that comes out is fake or everybody who posts screenshots. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying there is a lot. Actually, some of the biggest rumors that are out that people, like, come at me about are not true. Not true. It's about how they say it. And if it's a lie, and like I said, there's no way to defend myself. Because I'm, I've lied. I'm a liar. So there's no way to defend myself. You know what I mean? Even with proof. I mean, I, I'll, I'll show like that lady that was texting me the other day saying she's going to put a, you know, bullet right here or whatever over and over and over. I went and dropped it on Discord. Oh, guys, she texts that to herself. You know, it's like, come on. Like, no, I didn't. Like... But I get it. Like I said, it's it's my own. It's all, it's my own fault. I get it. But it's frustrating. I'm still a person, you know. And it's hard, like I said, not to. Um, and and then there's also the factor of, um, you know, uh, 
people want me to react to it and say um, their name. People want me to do that. They want me to, um, like, when something comes out, guys, right, I have to decide, I have to sit down and decide, am I going to publicly come out and debunk this, try to, or am I just going to shut the fuck up? Because I've learned the hard way, right, bringing more attention to it is actually what they want me to do, okay? So there's been plenty of times I just haven't said shit. And it makes me look guilty. I get it. But it was the right way to move. You know what I mean? It's it's I just can't explain it. It's it's I had to learn over these two years, like, you know, what to do, what's right to do. And I, I try. I try. I really do. It's all the lies you said. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. I, I cannot. I can't defend myself take advantage of that too they know no matter what i say about lisa you know she can't defend herself they're gonna believe me even if it's like a common sense thing right and i'm like guys come on use your heads just like with the blocking people that send and 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 i came out and i'm like guys i'm telling you it's it was this was a while ago but it was them mods right Two mods were doing it. Got rid of them. It stopped for a long time. I stopped getting the messages. Uh, Kim was the one modding. I stopped getting the messages, all that, right? The other day when that girl, whatever her name is, Abby, was modding and helping, same shit. I got like four fucking uh, emails. I sent you five bucks and you blocked me. And I'm just like, here we fucking go. And I had to unblock them. I mean, what sense? What, the common sense thing. What sense does that make, right? If somebody is helping, okay? Because most of them don't say shit in the chat because they don't want to get uh, attacked. To so then go and block them. They may help later. They may whatever. Why? I wouldn't. Like, it just doesn't. I wouldn't, at least. I don't know. Even if they're saying something in the chat, I can mute them. Why block them? You know what I mean? We know you want TikTok names. No, I don't want TikTok names to block people. That's not the reason, I promise. It really isn't. Because you can even ask people that sent. I promise. Emma, I am so pissed. That is the thing that I'm most pissed about, Miss Emma, is her putting out names of people who tried to help me because I know that they got or are going to get so much hate that everything else is underneath that. I, I am so fucking pissed about that. Thank you, Mandy. A lot of people I talk to, I don't ask them for money um, or, I'll, or I'll ask. You know, and that's it. Yeah, well, thankfully, Caroline, it was just a day or two, but uh, that's what I'm most mad about is that she put out those people to get um, harassed over sending me a dollar or two, you know, because honestly, like I said, I'm the one that deserves to be, uh, you know, harassed over that. Uh, Chasers. Mm Mm-hmm. Why can't you get a damn job? Um, yeah, that's what I was just saying. Well, Miss Amy, that's... And I'm not saying it's right to lie at all. It's not right. It's horrible. But people will come at me. Um, n- not really. When I get 20 or 30, at least recently, like that's like a big number. Like, I'm, like, very appreciative of that. It's mostly, like, $2, $5, a dollar. Those are the main ones, right? Um, But we're talking about the the lies. I I see all over the app, all over Reddit, you know, when I was in active addiction, I worked and I supported my own habit and was a functioning addict. And it's like, there's no way that everybody else but me fucking never lied never you know was deceitful that's just not a thing i'm sure some people can function that way but 
Everybody says it, I'm telling you. Like, I could go get hundreds of screenshots of different people saying that. Mandy, yeah, me me too. I'm I'm not even myself right now in the past. I know. It's cold out. I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, I need to go. I'm going to go get in the shower in a minute when my phone dies. Yeah. Well, yeah, even if you're a functioning addict. Yeah, Miss Emma, you lie. You know what I mean? People that aren't in addiction lie sometimes. It's just, it's, I don't know. Yes, chasers. But uh, but let them tell it. Let them tell it. I'm telling you, I've seen it. It's it's wild. Oh, no, you don't have to thank me. I appreciate you guys coming and talking to me. Um, I don't really have one, Dub. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sober right now. I'm good. Like I said, I just got up at 3.30. I'm actually not planning on, um, exactly hairless, you know. Um, I'm actually not, um, planning on getting on and doing anything, but I, I'm not promising anything. It depends on how the day goes. Yesterday, I wasn't either. And then, yeah, so like I said, it just depends, man. Thank you, Chaser. Yeah, like I said, I I slept all night. I needed that sleep. I really did. And then I got up and, you know, I'm here, sober. not No money, no nothing, which is fine. But, but you know how it goes. You're going to get bored. I'm gonna pick. I, yeah, Dub, it's, it's that. It's boredom. It's, um, you know, start, my mind starts, you know, thinking about things I don't want it to think about, you know. And yeah, absolutely. You know exactly what's going. On. Anybody who's been in active addiction calls calls me out. Um, they know what's going on. You know, so sing. Oh my gosh, my parents would kill me. Just a soul. Listen, if I sing, because I like hip hop, so I'm like rapping. Like I told you, we can do it. I know, Mandy. You you support you. You're supportive. Like you can do it, even in in your videos. I, you know, you want me to do it. You want me to do it. I appreciate that, Dub, and I appreciate your honesty too. I don't mind if people are brutally honest. It's just the way that, you know, they say it sometimes. You know, you weren't being like disrespectful. You were just saying the truth. You know, but um. Anyways, one more thing and about the shower. I don't. I I was I'll be rapping, and my dad's like, "Shut the fuck up." I'm sorry. He gets so mad. He's like, shut the fuck up. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, Mandy. A hundred percent you have to. And, and nobody will ever want it a hundred percent, but you have to really, really get there, you know? Oh, my. Dude, sing opera. Oh, my gosh. Dude, if I did that, I think when I got out the shower, my bags would be in front of the back door. Like, my dad would be like, uh-uh. I already told you. You're going to rehab or getting out. Now you're really the fuck out. No, no, no. Dude, I have you guys ever, like, rapped along to a song and you think that, like, you like you know all the words and you sound good because you're, like, saying it in your head, too, as you're rapping it? But if the music goes off, you're, like, messing up and stuttering and <laughs> can't keep up? Hey, that's true. Hey, dude, Mickey Mouse, that is... A, a big thing that uh, gets me. It, it really does. I can't lie. Would you ever do that though? Or you're like, I don't know. I'll be like thinking I'm like saying every word and then I'll try to do it without the song when I'm like outside smoking and I'm like, damn, sound like ass. Yeah, Miss Mandy. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's just, with some of the shit, they're so fast at rapping. Like, my mouth don't go that fast, you know? Yeah. You do? I'll, I'll, I'll go look it up, Mickey Mouse. I go on your page sometimes. I, I go to Kai first, and then if she don't have it, I go over to you and look, because you have different things, you know, sometimes also. So I do. I, I am over there. I'm over there. I don't comment, you know what I mean? Uh, but I'm over there. You think you're sick, but you're not. I know. What was I rapping? I don't remember. Gosh, I... I uh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know what to, uh, uh,